Hey guys, Raleigh at or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another Division 2 video. Now this one is going to be fairly short, but as you guys know, I like to keep you up to date with all of the things to the Division 2. And today we had another dev blog. This one was about the story and the lore behind the faction, the True Sons. Now the True Sons is currently the only faction we know about in the Division 2, but it has been confirmed there's going to be a lot more than just the one. Guys, if you find these videos helpful or interesting in any way whatsoever, please let me know by either leaving a comment or by clicking that like button. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Now, how or where did the True Sons begin? The True Sons were actually a former JTF unit. The True Sons are a group of radical mutineers and trained criminals determined to eliminate all enemies and rivals in their pursuit of domination. Known for their brutal discipline and complete apathy, they are a highly coordinated and dangerous faction. According to them, America was founded through bloodshed and through bloodshed, a new society will rise. Whatever it takes, the True Sons will be on top of the food chain. So we did actually know a little bit about True Sons and that opening paragraph of the dev blog did just about reiterate what we already knew. But here's where it gets a little bit more interesting. The next few paragraphs are all about the story behind the True Sons and how the group or how the faction were rallied together. So we now know who is controlling or who is leading the True Sons in their fight to take back Washington DC. That's going to be Colonel Antoine Ridgeway. Now this man was actually given the responsibility to administer the quarantine of Roosevelt Island and make sure everything ran smoothly. But after seeing what was going on, he soon wanted to do things his own way. He pretty much lost all faith in the JTF's ability to save Washington DC and this is when he came to the conclusion that there was no way they were all going to survive. Now out of fear that Washington DC was going to slip away, Colonel Ridgway decided to take the matters into his own hands. He deployed guards around the quarantine and told them not to let anyone out. He also started to redirect resources coming into the quarantine and letting the people within the quarantine starve to death and he did this because he thought in his mind the sick were already dead and his number one priority was to secure the future of his own men. Now whilst all of this is going on he genuinely believes he's doing the best thing and the right thing for Washington DC but as soon as the commander of the JTF found out that Ridgeway was abusing his power he was soon imprisoned but it didn't take long for the loyal members of his unit to come and free him. As soon as he got out he gathered the men from his former unit and the stockade where he was held prisoner. Together they captured the JTF officers that had imprisoned him and held a symbolic tribunal for them only to then execute them all moments later and then that is how the true sons were born now how are they going to react when we try to take them down much like the lmb in the first game the true sons are very well organized and discipline is extremely important to them within the true sons there's going to be 10 different archetypes and they're all going to have their own unique behavior and mechanisms depending on which special ability the archetype has that will also act as their weak point for example the medic archetype special ability is the shock pads with them he can revive allies and shock enemies. If you shoot those pads, they will get destroyed, everyone around him will get shocked and he will lose his abilities. Now one of the coolest things I learned from this dev blog was the fact that they'll be really strategic in their approach to you, but the more damage you've done to them and the more you take out, the less strategic they're going to be and the more sporadic they'll become. And eventually they're just going to charge at you and do whatever it takes to try and take you down. Now that is pretty much the dev blog wrapped up. If you do want to read all of the details, then the first link in the description is going to take you directly to it. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please let me know by either leaving a comment or by clicking that like button. And if you're new around here and want to stay up to date with all the things to Division and the Division 2, please make sure to subscribe. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.